In this video, we're going to take a look at one of the math problems in the first unit for Advanced Chemistry 30S. It's a question involving the average atomic mass of isotopes. We're given in the question the masses of two isotopes of copper and the average atomic mass of copper, and we're asked to find the abundance for each isotope. So when you read the question, we have copper 63 with a mass that is specified as 62.9296 AMUs, and copper 65 with a mass specified as 64.9278 AMUs. And the average mass is 63.546 AMUs. What is the abundance for each isotope of copper? Let's start by identifying our two variables. Okay? So we have two abundances that we're trying to find. So we let x be the abundance of the lighter isotope, in this case, copper 63. And although we would normally express an abundance as a percentage, like 30%, um, instead, let's put it here as a decimal, right, a decimal form. So now 30% would be 0.3. In a similar way, let's identify Y as the abundance of the isotope copper 65, also in decimal form. Since there are only two isotopes of copper, then their abundances have to add up to 100%. If one of them was 70%, the other would be 30%, and together they'd give me 70%. But since we're using decimal form, instead of adding to 100%, they'd add up to 1. So, for example, 0.7 and 0.3 would add up to 1. So one equation that we could set up would just be an equation based on percentages, and that would be the x plus y has to equal 1. Okay, and we notice that there's two variables in the question, so mathematically we're going to need two equations to solve this problem. There's one equation based on just the percentages. The second equation is based on the average mass. And this is a weighted average, so to find a weighted average we take the mass of the lighter isotope, 62.9296, and we multiply that by the abundance of the lighter isotope, x, and we add the, the mass of the second isotope, 64.9278, multiplied by its abundance, which is y, and since that's all of the isotopes we have together, that has to give me the average mass, the weighted average, which was given in the question, 63.546 AMUs. The rest of this question is now not a chemistry problem, it's now a math problem. We have two equations, and we need to solve them with two unknowns. So I'm going to use the process called elimination. Um, you can also use substitution, and if you'd like, you can even use a graphic, if you have a graphic calculator. I'm going to use elimination, so I'm going to take the first equation, and I'm going to choose to eliminate the x's. You could also eliminate the y's if you prefer. I'm going to use the x's. So I notice the second equation has 62.9296 x's. I'm going to multiply my first equation by that coefficient. So now instead of x plus y equals 1, we would have 62.9296 x's plus 62.9296 y's. That would equal 62.9296. So I multiplied every term in that first equation by 62.9296 called elimination because we know if we now subtract these two equations, the first term in each will be eliminated since they're equal. So now in subtracting, we have 64.9278 take away 
1.96. So I have 1.998, 1 1.9982, like us. Watts. And on the right hand side of my equation, 63.546 take away 62.9296 equals, and I'm going to round off this answer to three decimal places because we're subtracting two numbers, and so we get 0 0.616. And now dividing both sides by the coefficient for y, y would equal 0 0.616 divided by 1.9982, and we're dividing three significant digits by four significant digits. So my answer should contain three significant digits. And so that's going to be 0 0.308. Okay. Since x plus y was equal to 1, we could now say that x is equal to 1 minus y, which will be 0 0.692. And now, converting those back to percentages, and I'm going to just go up at the top here and write this at the top beside each of my uh, isotopes. Since x since y was 0 0.308, the abundance for copper 65, multiplying that by 100, would be 30.8%. Since the isotope abundance for x was 0.692, Multiplying that by 100 gives me 69.2% abundance for copper 63. So there we have it. That's one of the harder questions mathematically of this first unit based on average atomic masses. This one was more difficult than usual because we're trying to find the uh, isotope abundances. That meant there were two unknowns. We had to use two equations and two unknowns to solve them. Hope that helps with your studying, and good luck.